creating and managing OU in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory domain. OU is a one type of container that you can create in Active Directory. It can be used to store users, computers, groups and child OUs as well. OU can also be used as per your organizational structure or as per your organization's geographical structure. You can also delegate control of administrative activities to users or groups within a single OU, such as creating and working with user accounts, groups, printers and so on. Further, you can control users and computers within an OU by means of group policy. This is the smallest unit to which you can deploy group policy. So to create a OU in Active Directory, we can use Active Directory users and computer snapping. There are multiple ways to open Active Directory users and computer snapping. Like you can open it from administrator tools or you can use SOM Manager dashboard. You can also use dsc.msc command from run menu. Let's use SOM Manager to open Active Directory users and computer snapping. On a SOM Manager dashboard, let's click on tools and select Active Directory users and computers. Select your domain, in my case that is uh, mylab.local and right click on it and select new and then select OU. Specify the name of your OU in a name tab. So for this demonstration, let me specify name OU1. As you can see, product container from accidental deletion options is by default selected when you create a OU. It will use to enhance security and prevent accidental deletion of this OU. Let's click on OK to create OU1. Now here we can see we have an OU named OU1. Similarly, we can create child OUs by selecting an OU in which you want to create child OU. So let's select OU1, right click on it and select new and then again select OU. And let's specify the name child OU1. Let's click on OK. Let's again click on OU1 and here we can see we have one OU name child OU1 under our OU1. To delete an OU with enhanced security, first we have to disable protection from accidental deletion. If you try to delete OU with enhanced security, you are not able to delete that OU. Let's select child OU1, right click on it and select delete. Click on yes. You are receiving a warning. Either you do not have a sufficient privilege or this object is protected from accidental deletion. Let's click on OK. So to disable accidental deletion, let's click on View and select Advanced Feature. After that, let's again select OU1 and select Child OU1, right click on it and select Properties. Now click on Object tab and here we go. This is the options which we are looking for. Clear the checkbox from Protect Object from Accidental Deletion, then click on Apply and click on OK. This option is not visible if advanced feature is not enabled. Please ensure that advanced feature is not enabled all the time. To disable advanced feature, let's again click on view and uncheck advanced feature. Now let's again select child OU1, right click on it and select properties. Now here you are not able to see the object tab. Let's click on OK. So to delete a OU, right click on OU and select delete options. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete the OU name child OU1? Click on yes, yes, we want to delete that OU. Now here we go. Now this time we are successfully able to delete child OU1. Now let's use uh, PowerShell to create a OU and for that we can use new AD organizational unit same delayed. Let's minimize the activity users and computers console and let's open PowerShell. Now we want to create OU name OU2 at the root of our Active Directory. So for that we have to run cmd delete new ad organizational unit and then we have to specify the name. Let's specify OU2 and then let's press enter key. And that's it. Let's go back to Active Directory users and computers console. Let's click on mylab.local and click on refresh. Now here we can see we have our one OU name OU2. Let's again go back to PowerShell and now we want to create child OU name 
child OU2 under our OU, OU2. And for that, when we run a command, we have to specify the path of our parent OU. Let's run the same command again. Let's specify name child OU2. And this time, we have to specify the path OU is equal to OU2. DC is equal to my lab and DC is equal to local. So we have to specify the distinguished path of our parent OU. Now let's press enter key and here we go. Let's again go back to activity users and computers console. Let's click on OU2 and right click and select a request. Now here we can see we have another OU named child OU2 under our OU2. Now suppose if you want to delete OU by using PowerShell, as you already know, every OUs are protected from accidental deletion, which means if you try to delete an OU, it will fail in PowerShell. So first, we have to remove the protection from accidental deletion. Use cmdelete, set AD organization, we have to specify identity and then we have to specify the distinguished name of our OU. Let's specify the DN. OU is equal to child OU2. Then again, O is equal to OU2. Then DC is equal to my lab and DC is equal to local. After that, we have to specify the switch protect from accidental deletion, colon, dollar sign, and false. Let's press enter key. Now Accidental deletion protection is removed from our OU child OU2. After this, we are able to remove that OU. Let's run command remove ad organizational unit and let's again specify the identity OU is equal to child OU2, OU is equal to OU2 and DC is equal to my lab. DC is equal to local and then specify confirm colon dollar sign and false. But before we remove that OU, let's check active directory users and computers console and here we can see we have a OU named child OU2. Now let's run this same delete and after again come back to active directory users and computers console. Right click in free space and select refresh. Now here you can see there is no OU named child OU2. With the help of that PowerShell CM deletes, we can remove OU from our Active Directory. So with the help of Windows PowerShell, Active Directory users and computers console, as well as with the help of DS add command line utilities and with the help of Active Directory Administrative Center, we can create and manage OU in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory Domain. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.